Hello today, I want to share with you how I clean up my audios for my videos, right? Sometimes after shooting my video, I might discover that the audio is not too clean, it's not too crisp or it's not too clear. It could be that maybe there's a background noise, maybe my microphone catches my generator sound throughout or maybe the AC or revolving fan or something and I want to clean up my audio. This is the steps I use using Audacity. Audacity is a free software that you can use for your audio editing, in fact, for professional audio editing. But in this video, we will be looking at the simple process I use for cleaning up my audios. So for example, let's use this as a sample. Say I am editing this video of mine and I discover that the audio is not too clean, the audio is not too clear. The first thing I usually do here is I extract the audio from the video. So the video and the audio are merged into one here. So I simply come in here depending on the video editing software you are using the process might be slightly different but the principle is the same first you separate the audio from the visuals from the video itself so for Camtasia here that I'm using for this demonstration you simply right click here and then you see separate audio and video so you simply click that and you discover now that this is the audio and then this is the video right this is the video so I can simply now extract export to audacity when I take it to audacity here then I will be able to edit it and clean it up then bring it back to Camtasia I don't know if you understand so first I have an audio that is not too good with my video I separate it take it off the editing software edit it on audacity then bring it back to the video editing software and merge it back with the video don't worry we'll go through the process so first i've separated the audio now it's for time for me to export the, only the audio so you can see here say export audio only so i simply come in here and say test i can then simply just save so now it has exported it i already have audacity here i already have audacity downloaded here but the way to do it is simply you go to google and then download it it's free and it's safe so i simply come here on google, on google and type audacity so audacity download so you just come in here and click download here and it takes you to this page where you'll be able to choose if is it windows is it mac or is it linux so simply download and it's free i've already downloaded it and so i will just simply open it up and then we are here so now this is the process i take i come to file and i import so i want to bring in the audio that i have separated from my video and downloaded differently and look for the audio so now it has imported so the first thing i do is i normalize normalize simply means that sometimes when you are speaking the volume might increase or decrease and when you normalize it tends to help bring everything to the same level so that it doesn't feel as if your audio is fluctuating so usually the first thing i do is i just click everything and i come to effect and i go to normalize and i usually leave the settings as they are right and i simply click this and so it goes to the process so it has normalized it basically right this audio is not really that bad but if it was really obvious where i fluctuate i come in and go out with different peaks and amplitudes here to help to normalize it so that's the first step i took the next thing i try to do is i try to remove noise noise reduction so this is the process for noise reduction you look for a place where you only have the noise like this place all these places here i'm speaking but this place here you discover i'm not speaking we just have only the background noise from my generator or from my revolving fan or my ac like um static noise at the background so the first step for you to do is to look for a space like that right even if it means you expanding it a little so that you have a good space where you are not talking so you use that as a sample to remove that sample from every other place so the first thing i do here is i select i have a sample of this and i go back to effect and i go to noise reduction and then you say get noise profile so this place now will be like the sample that i will use for every other thing so i click get noise profile so it has profiled this part and so i click everything and then i use that profile to remove anything similar to that profile in all of the audio right i hope that's clear um so i just come back to noise reduction and i just say okay 
I've already done the get noise profile. So now I just come in again, selecting everything and I just simply click OK. So to go through the process, removing anything that sounds like this, um, this audio is not really that bad. And so you, visually the effect might not be much better. So the next thing I usually do is I come in to compress, compress the audio. So I simply click here. That's the third thing I do. The first one I said is normalize. The second one is noise reduction. The third one is I compress, compress to improve my, this usually I leave this um, at the default. Just, I just need little touches here and there. Um, then that sounds good. Then usually I come in again and just hit the normalize button to normalize everything. Um, this is not in any way an advanced way of doing this is just simple basic editing for for youtubers or people with small projects so the last thing i do is if i need to amplify there are times i don't really need to do that but if i need to amplify i just i make sure i make sure i don't click this allow clipping i just leave it this way and i just click this so that it boosts the audio a little more and i'm good to go so those are the four steps i take i import then i do the first step of normalizing then I go to the next step of noise reduction. Then I go to the next step of compression. Sometimes I might add bass to make it a little bassier, right? <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, but to increase the bass. But um, most times I don't. And then um, lastly, I come in here to up amplify, right? I come in here to amplify. After I'm done with this, it's time for me to export. So I simply come in here and export. And I say export as WAV file as a WAV file and I simply come in here and I say clean, I rename it to clean test audio. And so I simply export. Now I can simply close this, um, save or not, um, no, and I'm good to go. Then I come back to Camtasia or you go back to your editing software, your video editing software. So the first thing is to import, import the media. So we import the, the file that we've cleaned, just clean. So uh, clean test audio. So the first thing to do is to come in here, put it to the beginning so that I can add it, add it to the timeline. So this clean audio, you see clean test audio is the good one. So I can easily delete this one. I can click these and delete and then I come in here, I right click, I said, remove all empty tracks. So now I have a cleaner audio without background noise that has been normalized, that has been even boosted a little, amplified, compressed, and then equalized and so on. So basically this is my process of cleaning an audio or if I have an issue with a background noise. If you find this video very helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and stay subscribed and check the description section below for a free download that will help you to easily start, grow and monetize a hyper profitable YouTube channel fast. And as we usually say in this community, play big and I'll see you in the next one.